sun and sand. The friendly city has much to offer visitors in December. For years, hotels and guest houses have been packed to capacity. But no longer. It seems the lucrative Airbnb business is taking over. It's prompting tourism authorities to call for regulation, mirroring steps taken in many European cities. At a legislative level, a big discussion is taking place within the industry as to how best we can bring the Airbnb operators into the formal sector, understanding that all operators at a hospitality level has to conform either to standards or to SARS legislation as well. On average, most bed and breakfasts and hotels are reported to be about 70% full. But Airbnb host Samantha Flack is experiencing a bumper season. Her establishment is fully booked. In terms of regulation, I think um, that f from point of view, you have to ensure that the, the place you're operating from is zoned. But tourism in the Bay is facing other pressures too. Tough economic times and a shorter season due to a change in the school calendar. It, it actually always worries us. If we lose one tourist, it worries us because when it comes to tourism, uh, they, they, they count this number of tourists is equal to one job created uh, and, and then a boost in our economy. So we get worried if ever our numbers are going down. For now, the Metro says it's concentrating on ensuring beaches are clean and safe so those who are holidaying here will return. Sandy McCowan, Port Elizabeth.